A tough testimony today in the trial of a man accused of killing a law partner at Scott Rothstein's former law firm, Melissa Britt Lewis, murdered back in 2008. And today, her friend and the ex-wife of the accused took the stand. CBS 4's Gary Nelson live in Fort Lauderdale tonight with all the details. Gary. Well, she did time in connection with one of the most notorious Ponzi schemes in U.S. history. But today, she was testifying as a witness, a witness in the murder trial of her ex-husband accused of strangling her good friend. Deborah Viegas, ex-con and ex-wife of accused murderer Tony Viegas, testified against her former hubby as he's tried for the 2008 right. strangulation up. murder of Melissa Lewis, Deborah's colleague and best friend. Lewis was a law partner with Scott Rothstein, the infamous Ponzi operator. I have no comment. But the state says the murder of this woman's friend had nothing to do with an illegal pyramid. That this man murdered his wife's friend because she was helping her through a bitter divorce. Deborah Viegas testified her husband made comments foreshadowing possible violence. You think you're on top now, you know, but you and your friends will be sorry. You know, I'm going to win in the end. Deborah said she and Melissa Lewis armed themselves against Viegas' threats. Neither one of us wanted a gun, and um, but we both, you know, she was living alone, so she felt she needed something to, and, you know, I was going through a difficult divorce, so, and, you know, living on my own as well. And um, I decided on a taser, and she decided on pepper spray. Investigators testified pepper spray residue was found in Melissa Lewis's garage that was left wide open. Also found a pepper spray can. On this jacket found in the victim's abandoned car, Viegas's DNA. A button matching one torn from the jacket was found on her garage floor. And the state says tracking towers show Viegas had the victim's cell phone as he rode the rails as a train conductor after she disappeared. Deborah Viegas has since officially changed her last name. Now, there has been no mention of Scott Rothstein and his Ponzi scheme in this trial, and there will not be. There is simply no evidence connecting Rothstein or his scam in any way with the murder of his former law partner. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.